Hi, Cinema Movies here. Today, I'm going to explain a science fiction action film called Fortress. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie begins in futuristic Canada where the government has banned the birth of a second child to control the population. No one is allowed to give birth to more than a child. Even if the first one dies, at the heavily guarded Canada United States border station, an automated voice requests everyone to take their personal belongings to the inspection office. Former Army officer John Henry Brennick and his wife Karen Brennick are in a car about to be inspected. The couple seems to be nervous about the check. When Karen moves her arm, a magnetic vest that she is wearing inside her overcoat is visible. Turns out that Karen is pregnant and they are going to Vancouver to give birth to their second child. After the first child is born, the government ties the female's tube. However, Karen got lucky and got pregnant again. Hence, the magnetic vest is to cover her pregnancy. When they are at the inspection center, the soldiers order them to get out of the car with their belongings. While a soldier checks Karen's bag, a girl in front of them gets arrested for being pregnant. But as Karen walks through the scanning machine, the magnetic vest stops it from alerting the guards. The couple is safely outside but one guard approaches them and notices the magnetic vest on Karen. An alarm starts to ring and the soldiers attack them. John manages to fight them and runs away with Karen to cross the bridge. As the soldiers pursue them, John asks Karen to run away without him and she reluctantly agrees. John is soon arrested, but Karen manages to flee. In the following scene, we see John and other prisoners like him in a vehicle being taken to a prison called the Fortress. It is a privately owned maximum security prison operated by the Mantel Corporation. The Fortress lies in the middle of a massive desert and escaping from the prison is impossible. They get inside the facility and the guards make them strip naked. A voice in the background welcomes the prisoners to the fortress and introduces himself as Director Pope. The prisoners are then brought to a room where everyone is fitted with a psychological security intelligence system. The system is fitted into their intestine and is triggered when anyone breaks the prison's rules. The process is called intestination. Poe announces that after the implantation of the technology, the prisoners who cross the yellow light on the floor will be induced with extreme pain in their abdomen, and the ones who cross the red light will die instantly. One of the inmates gets nervous and crosses the yellow line. As soon as he does, he falls down in pain. He accidentally crosses the red line too. The man's stomach starts to bloat and eventually bursts. Others are put into an elevator that goes underground. It is revealed that the prison is 30 stories underground. John and a fellow inmate named Nino Gomez are let off on a floor. They are greeted by a monitoring device called the Z10 which takes them to a crowded prison cell. One of the inmates named Stiggs yells at Zed, claiming that the cell already has too many people but Zed instead threatens to intestinate him. The cells have a laser beam that stops. Inmates from going out when not needed. John introduces himself to another inmate named D Day. As they are about to fall asleep, the third inmate named Abraham tells John to not dream. After everyone is asleep, Zed comes to inspect the prisoners. It scans John's face and goes into his dream. John is dreaming about him making love to Karen. Somewhere else in the monitoring room, the prison's director, Poe, watches John's dream and grows an infatuation with Karen. He reminds John, dreaming is an unauthorized thought process. That is not allowed in the facility and wakes him up. Sharp pain in his abdomen makes him struggle, suggesting that he has been intestinated. The following day, the inmates are made to work in underground construction. A homosexual inmate named Maddox sexually assaults Nino. John comes to his rescue and fights Maddox. Zed stops the commotion by triggering the device in their abdomen. Later, all three of them are kept in a tiny laser cell and asked who started the fight. Nino is too scared of Maddox to tell the truth. To save Nino, John lies that he himself started the fight. He is then taken to Poe's office where Abraham is shaving Poe's beard. 
post shows John a live video of Karen showering. As it turns out, she was arrested after John and brought to prison as well. Poe intestinates Karen and John, making them whimper in pain. As his punishment. Later, Abraham tells John that floors A and B are the women's quarters. Hence Karen might be there too. Then, we see Karen in her cell talking. To a fellow pregnant girl. As her stomach starts to hurt, two guards. Take her away. Everyone in the women's quarter is pregnant. Karen realizes that the facility does something with their newborn children. In the men's quarter, Maddox picks a fight with John. The men get into an intense battle as everyone in the facility watches them. Along with Poe from his cabin, Karen sees her husband from her floor and is surprised. Both. The parties are bloodied when John pushes Maddox off the edge but he hangs onto it. Poe orders. John to finish off Maddox but John instead helps him. Poe takes the matter into his hands and uses a weapon to kill Maddox that blows up his whole stomach creating a hole in it. John finds Maddox's abdomen device on the floor and secretly hands it to Nino before being taken away by the guards. In the following scene, Karen walks into a room where John is suspended in a massive machine called the Mind White Chamber. Poe has sent her to ask John to cooperate with them. They talk for a while but the guards drag her out soon. The machine starts to move along with John making him hallucinate. This is his punishment for not obeying Director Poe's order to kill Maddox. John's brain slowly starts to break down as he sees his time at the military, his wedding day, and so on. After three days, Poe invites Karen to his chamber. He is surprised that John has lasted this long as the maximum someone has ever lasted on the machine is an hour. He offers Karen to let John free if she stays with him, at his chamber as his companion. With no choice left, Karen agrees. When John returns to his cell, he is completely brain dead. He doesn't talk to anyone and has become completely numb to pain. Karen has started to live with Poe. One night, she wakes up to see Poe in a chair attached to several wires. As it turns out he was modified to be an advanced human. He doesn't sleep or eat, but intakes amino acids once a month. The same happens with all the children born in the prison. They go through several procedures to be turned into advanced humans, so that one day, mankind can be free of overpopulation and starvation. Poe was one of the first babies to be experimented upon. Karen is shocked by the information. Four months pass. And John has still not recovered. Abraham tells him that Karen's belly is finally showing in his. Baby will be born the world soon. John doesn't react, but sheds a single tear. That night, Karen tricks Poe into drinking alcohol which makes him pass out. She uses the control panel to control John's dream, in which she sees the kid version of John trapped in a pit. She brings him out of the pit, bringing the real John back into consciousness. His inmate friends are shocked and happy to have him back. John asks Abraham to help him escape the prison with Karen. Abraham is skeptical but agrees to do it for John anyway. Abraham tells Karen about John's recovery. She is over the moon about her plan working. She claims that she can help him with the escape and starts to devise a plan. Later, Nino hands John the device he had gotten from Maddox's body. Their inmate friend D-Day used to be a computer geek before coming to the prison. He offers to take the device apart and study it. Next, we see Karen steal a diamond-like holographic lens from Poe's cabin. She almost gets caught, but manages to hide the device inside her mouth. She hands the device to Abraham the following day and asks him to give it to John. Abraham doesn't want to get in trouble, but accepts doing it as a favor. The guys use the cell's protective laser beams to trigger the lens and look at the hologram of the facility. They find that there is a way out through the construction site. The following morning, Abraham puts the lens back in Poe's cabin. Poe asks Karen to divorce John and marry him. He claims he will treat the child as his own and even promises to let John free. Karen accepts the offer for her husband and child. Meanwhile, D-Day figures out how the intestinate 
device works. The device is magnetic and can